Hello, my name is Karen Boniker and I'm a Painter Master Elite for Corel Painter and I'm excited to bring you this wonderful new brush pack called Pointillism. It's based upon the beautiful paintings of George Seurat and um, I'd like to first of all go through the brushes with you so you understand a little bit more uh, how they work um, and some of the ways that you can work with them uh, as you go forward. And first of all, I want to pardon my French, but I'm really excited to introduce you to these Pointillism brush pack. Most of the brushes um, work or break up the pixels, but there's other uh, brushes that also um, let you paint directly on your canvas. Um, and of course, this is compatible with Painter and um, Particle Shop, so you'll have a lot of flexibility to work with it. Let's begin with the first brush called Abre, and I'm going to select that, and I want to bring up something here that will help us to see what's happening with these brushes. The Abre brush um, works on a layer and creates this variable brush stroke that incorporates hue, saturation, and value. So you can set it to um, flexible ways of working with either RGB or S, uh, HSV. And I'll explain that um, on, the, on the color sets here. So you can set the color variability and you can exaggerate those colors uh, in either RGV or HSV by bringing up the hue, saturation, and value sliders. So this is a great brush to work with. By default, it's already set to some hue, saturation, and value settings. So when you're working with it in Particle Shop, you'll notice that that's what you'll get with it. So you can have a lot of fun. The next brush we're going to take a look at is uh, Boss. And this one uh, works on a layer, so I'm going to go ahead and select the layer and show you how this brush breaks up the pixels, and I think it's just beautiful. A little bit of metallic look to it, um, so if you lay it over the top of something that's been highly texturized, you can add um, some interesting texture to it and break up the pixels. So it's a real uh, beautiful brush to, to work with. The next brush is Bella, and it is also a painting brush, and we're going to choose that. And I'm going to work on just a single layer here, and uh, I like using it for um, some of the detail work that I might be using. And again, you can control this by the size, the reset setting, and of course, work with your brush calibration if you want to get a very, very fine brush stroke. But for me, um, it tends to be a brush that I'll pick up when I'm wanting to impose some nice uh, textures and detail in certain areas. The next brush is Bezon, and I'm going to select that one. And this brush is a layer brush. So again, it's going to pick up uh, and break up pixels on a layer. So you can kind of play with that and you can see how um, it's in that pointillism style where it's got lots of dots and a fun one to work with. Shema is number five and we're going to select that one and that is a painting brush. So we'll go to our layer and paint with it. And this one, you just kind of have to let it fly. Um, I love using it for, you know, creating waves across the ocean. The look of um, the heart, the firmer pressure that you use, you're going to get a, a little thicker brush stroke. And then with a very fine stroke, you get this uh, very nice flowing type of brush stroke. I use it uh, for, in my landscape paintings quite often for the look of white water or waves being created on the on the beach and it's very very effective for that. The next brush is Closon and this is a beautiful brush. This is also a painting brush and we'll pick that one 
and you can see that it is also set to very color variability so you can set it to HSV RGB or even from gradient and um, I really like this brush due to the fact that it builds on color uh, interesting textures that reveal themselves the more that you lay over uh, color on top so it's a it's a fun brush for um, specific textural effects that you're trying to get um, and uh, a lot of fun to play with Humar is the next brush that is a painting brush and we'll go ahead and paint on the layer and you can see it's a it's again more of that typical pointillism type of brush stroke but it's a little bit lighter in value and takes up um, just a, a nicer more opaque look to the brush so it's another nice one to use Pua uh, is the points brush here and this one is a, um, a typical Surratt type of brush stroke where it's full of dots and you can just dot away with it. Um, one of the ways that you can use this brush, um, this again is a, is a brush that's going to apply color, is to actually record um, and you can do that by going to brushes and record stroke and we'll go ahead and put a one brush stroke down and then come back here and for example if you had created a selection and uh, maybe that's what I will do here real quickly I'll create a selection here and then I'll go back to my brush and play back or auto play back and you can see that that brush stroke is being played back into that selection so this would be a way that you could you know fill a selection with that same uh, brush stroke uh, over and over again uh, remember when you want to progress and go on to the next brush that you will want to go back to um, record stroke command D to remove that selection and then and then you can go back to uh, painting with that brush or any brush okay next brush is Revere and this brush is also a painting brush and again you can see that it's uh, kind of uh, a very kind of abstract effect that it applies you can also use it on a layer to break up uh, pixels and you can see that it's a beautiful design the way that it um, so on a on a layer with just a salt just a plain basic default layer you're going to see kind of an abstract effect but when you go ahead and apply it over the top of a texture or a part of your painting where you want to impart some texture this is what you're going to get and it's a really a beautiful uh, beautiful brush to work with very uh, expressive lots of wonderful texture going on within it the next brush is George and we're going to select that one and it is a also a painting brush so we'll go back down to our layer and again it's a very fine uh, pointillism type of brush very scattery very small in size very good for adding texture to rocks to mountains to trees to beaches and creating a sandy effect so it's it, that would be some of the the uses that you could use the brush for solia and this brush is a layer brush so it's going to break up pixels and you can see that it's more in the pointillism fashion but breaks up those pixels in a shape of small circles and points the next brush is tear and it is also a brush that applies paint so you can work on a layer with this and it is set to color variability so you're going to have a little you're, you will have the opportunity to play and adjust color variability within painter um, so this is a little more on the opaque side but again on the same theme as pointillism the next brush is melange and this brush um, I you can use this either on a uh, layer that already has pixels on it um, it is a blending brush 
so it is a brush that you'll want to pull through like you see here. It's really a beautiful brush for blending out pixels, uh, areas of uh, texture, and to soften those areas a little bit. And the last brush is a tourbillon. And this brush uh, is also a painting brush. And I'm going to reset it, make sure it's at default. And again, you'll see that this brush um, has very high color variability. Again, it's more in line with the pic, uh, pointillism style. Uh, lots of dots, another great brush for adding texture. Uh, use it at different sizes. Um, if you bring the size of the brush down, you could certainly uh, paint with it. Uh, very expressive style brush stroke. It's also a brush that you could use to maybe, you know, create the look of trees. Uh, because of that color variability, um, it has, uh, you know, that ability to to show different values as you paint. So this would be one to maybe uh, experiment with trees and have fun with. Before I close, um, one of the main brushes here that I've used to create some of the paintings that I've done, and I want to show you this one, is the brush um, Boss. And this one is very important uh, to the overall technique if you're looking to achieve more of a painterly style and to be and use your photos to go on, especially in Particle Shop if you're using uh, a photo to um, bring in more painterly styles or to break up pixels within the image itself. Um, I'm, how I would use this brush is in its default state. I would simply start to begin to go over the main pixels in the image that I'm using. And you can see how it automatically creates that pointillism style, the almost the impressionistic style of George Seurat. And you can take it as far as you want um, to the point where it almost becomes, uh, by going over the entire image, you can almost create a nice underpainting to start uh, a painting with in uh, Painter. This is about as far as I would go with it, just to break those pixels up. And then the brush. Um, Bell, um, I would take that brush and use that as my detail brush using my Alt key to sample some of these colors to stay in line with uh, some of the values that I'm seeing and to bring out some of these little branches and uh, details. So it's a, just a lot of fun to work with. Shema is the other brush that I love using for this technique. And this is the brush that I had mentioned that um, I love using just to bring, you know, to break up the pixels a little bit if you want to, uh, you know, add color. And then uh, finally, the melange brush which is the one that I enjoy for uh, doing the soft blending. And this one is uh, really a beauty uh, to bring out and soften edges to pull color. Um, it's very effective in long flowing brush strokes such as this to pull the color. And, you know, as a uh, user of Painter, I would probably um, use this brush to create the underpainting. Um, you know, it's, it's a very good place to start. Uh, then I can go on and finish, uh, finish with some of my other Painter brushes. But this one was um, entirely done with the uh, Pointillism brush pack. 
Um, and then finally, the last thing I did here was I applied some thick paint over the top of it in these bright yellow areas for some nice contrast. But in terms of everything, uh, you know, the pointillism effect is very clear in the in the image. Um, I love the way that I could create some nice fine lines with the with the Bella brush and getting that beautiful detail in there and working, of course, on value. Um, so I hope you enjoy this new brush pack. Um, it's brought me a lot of joy. I've enjoyed uh, working with it and will continue to use it in my painter workflow.